Hello! Welcome to Swatch Fest, you guys. I'm so glad that you're here. If you're new to my channel, Swatch Fest is a time where I just get to swatch some random polishes that aren't for particular reviews of new polishes released by brands. These are just polishes that I pick up here or there because you guys know I like to shop for polish and it's not always with a specific review in mind. I just enjoy polish so much, so if I see something I like, I just I want to wear it. So anyway, you guys feel me, right? Um, however, I have so much polish at this point that if I didn't have swatch vests, I wouldn't have a place to swatch these things. So this gives me a good opportunity to swatch the polishes that I pick up that don't have a review attached to them. So we're going to get going into this video. Thanks for being here. Thanks, you guys. I really hope that you're having a wonderful weekend. So out of my five polishes, Four of them were total winners, so I'm really, really excited to share them with you. We're gonna get started with green and blue. So as you know, if you've been with me for the past month, I have sliced Swatch Fest in half for sake of time. So whereas Swatch Fest used to be like 40 minute videos, they're now around 20 minutes and it really helps me not have um, as big of a time commitment on the weekends anymore. With Moonshine Manny, which is my brand that I make here in my own home, um, I just don't have as much time for a super long video on the weekend, but I didn't want to cut out swatch us entirely, so this was my solution. And I think that we still have a lot of fun and we're looking at some gorgeous polish. So, we're going to get started with a really gorgeous polish. So many brands had sales in the last month, I have to admit. Um, between 9-0, KB Shimmer, and Different Dimensions, I purchased quite a bit of polish, you guys. Um, this first one I'm so excited to share with you is 9-0 Kiwi Crush. Just look at that color. Oh, if you haven't tried any of these smoothie bar polishes from 9-0, this was the one that was just absolutely calling to me. You guys know what a good green does to me. So these polishes are all um, kind of kind of blasted neons. They're not super blasted out, but basically it's a very strong, beautiful, bright green pigment that has a bunch of white added to it, so it's more like a cream base instead of... A neon pigment will basically make a jelly base. Jelly to a crelly, depending on how much base you add to your pigment. But these definitely have a lot of white in them, um, making them this kind of chalky kind of color. And they're also um, rather opaque. This gets a lot of polish, a lot of product on the nail. In one coat, you're pretty good, but I'm gonna show you two coats of this. And it has all these beautiful, um, very starkly contrasting black shredded pieces in here. So you're having not dots against the beautiful green, but you're having these black shreds in all different sizes. So. It's super cool, you guys. This polish is so much fun. It gets, like I said, totally opaque in two coats. Love this polish. Again, it's called Kiwi Crush. I'm pretty sure it's still on the 9-0 website, so if you want to go pick it up, loved it. Next polish that I want to share with you guys is from Kiko. This is in the Quick Dry Formula. Now, if you guys remember, I love Kiko. Like, my love is so strong for Kiko. But this line from them, this cylindrical bottle, I don't love as much. So, just the $1 bottle on their website, that formula is superior, I feel like, to this quick dry formula. I haven't even noticed the quick dry so much because I have to do so many coats and it's still so thin that I'm just displeased with it and I'm not really thinking about, oh yay, it's drying so fast. Um, it is a very beautiful powdery blue. This is number 849 and it has some gorgeous, very light silvery shimmer in there. But I did three coats. I still didn't get opacity. This is kind of the same formula as the rest of the quick dries. So this wasn't my favorite, but 
at Three Coats. If you're able to get it streak free at Three Coats, it is a very beautiful color. So um, I did like the color, but I didn't really like the overall finish of it because um, yeah, it just didn't get quite opaque enough for me at Three Coats. It's just a little too thin of a formula. Last week you guys I was telling you that it uh, was my birthday coming up so my birthday has come and gone I am 35 now oh. um, it was fine I don't know what I was worried about <laughs> you guys are trying to reassure me I was fine I knew I'd be fine I was just being silly but you know time is such a meanie I mean it, it just goes and goes and goes and it's the one commodity in this life that you can never make more of so you just really have to use your time the best way that you can spending it with those that you love and making your relationships stronger, deeper, making new relationships. So anyway, I had a fantastic birthday. I didn't really want presents for this birthday. Um, I was just, mm, I don't know, I'm never really feeling like, gifts are really fun to give, but as I get older, like a, like a surprise here and there is fun, but like a day that is designated to like receiving a bunch of gifts is just not really necessary. Um, so what I did is the night before I made a list of 10 things that I thought would be fun to do on my birthday. There were things that my family could do with me or do for me in lieu of gifts. So like one was making French toast and eggs for breakfast. One was a foot rub. One was, um, that they could watch the bachelorette finale with me, things like that. And uh, we had a super fun day, you guys. So I really enjoyed my birthday and my family was amazing and I was so lucky to be able to spend the entire day with all of them um, the day before they went back to school. My three oldest are back in school now. Like I said, I have a freshman, a seventh grader, and a first grader. My daughter got to uh, be in class with quite a few of her fellow students from last year, which was really exciting for me. Guess what, you guys? <laughs> so crazy. I got to class and there is a boy in her class with her same name. Her name is Honor. I named her after my great-grandmother, so it's Honor's great-great-grandmother. And there is a boy in her class named Honor, which I'm just like, if there are five kindergarten classes at this school, why did they need to be in the same class? That just seems majorly confusing. I mean, I didn't assume that she'd be the only Honor for her entire life or anything like that, but it just seems like with a name like that, if you have all these classes you could put the kids in, why put them in the same class? It seems super strange. So both me and this little gentleman's father, we were like, really? Your name's Honor too? How strange. Like it was just super wacky and strange. Um, so anyway, such a fun week. Kids are back in school. They're doing great, loving it. My high schooler is apprehensive, but I think it's gonna be good. We basically moved here for the school. So um, anyway, so such a fantastic week and the Moonshine Manny Looking for Group Collection, which is my World of Warcraft inspired collection, launched yesterday, which was kind of like my birthday collection. It was something that I put my thought and effort into for a very, very long time. And um, it's especially special to me. And so, yeah, it was kind of like a birthday collection and I launched it to go in tandem with the new expansion coming out from World of Warcraft. Anyway, that was my week. It was fantastic. Such a fun, fun birthday week. Okay, so we looked at the one polish that I wasn't crazy about. The rest of these, I think, are great. Um, this polish is this beautiful, muted, dusty, purple linear hollow. It is the one that I've had on my nails today. This is from KB Shimmer. It's called Cubicle Pusher. I did pick this up during their um, sale recently. It's a very opaque, creamy, linear holographic pretty much a one coater. This is super, super creamy. Like lots of times linear hollows won't necessarily have um, 
a super densely thick creamy base, but this one does, which was very interesting. So it's just beautiful. It's a little bit more muted than I like to wear on my toes in summer, but instantly when I got this, I thought, oh, this is gonna be perfect for my toes for fall. So I'm really, really excited about it. I've been wearing um, There Are No Rules from Moonshine Manny from my Christmas collection last year on my toes basically almost all summer. I've just been reapplying and reapplying and reapplying. That's my rose gold linear holographic. So I've already had linear hollow on my toes all summer, but I think I need to put this one on too. So you barely even need two coats of this. Let's go ahead and swatch cubicle pusher. The other ones I'm absolutely crazy about. This one I'm not like crazy about, but it's good. So when I picked this polish up at that Rite Aid clearance where I got all those Sally Hansons like four or five months ago, um, <laughs> I guess I just kind of assumed that this would be a little bit watery, like it wouldn't be that great, but I was wrong and I was very happy to be wrong. This is called Hooked on Onyx. Isn't that cute? Number 403, and like I said, it was in the clearance bin, so lots of times when you get stuff in the clearance bin, you're kind of like, well, this might not be so good, but let's give it a try. Um, but it's a good polish in two coats. This polish has a really weird brush. It's kind of like cut down to be really thin comparatively to some of their recent wide brushes. So I was surprised by that, but it worked out fine. So I really enjoyed this. I was fully expecting it to be just a watery, sheer, kind of mess, but it was not at all, so great in two coats. So I've talked before about how my four makeup must-haves are brows, concealer, um, lip gloss, and highlight. And I basically have that on today. I did also add in an eyeliner. So this was a really like no makeup day for me and I really love no makeup days because I don't enjoy foundation at all. I just like my skin to just feel like it doesn't have a bunch of like stuff on it. Um, so yeah, we're rocking very minimal makeup today. Even my brows, I just did with a powder in the shade and light palette. I did it with the Samael, I don't know, all of these names in this palette are hard for me to pronounce. But I just took this brown um, over here, this top one right there. That is what is on my brows today. Oh, I forget that there's black all over the top of this thing and I always make a mess out of it. So my concealer of choice today, um, just a little under eye freshening up. We have the Tarte Shape Tape, of course, in the shade Fair. I have some highlight to kind of waken up my skin a little bit. Um, this is this thing. I always use this uh, Physician's Formula Shimmer Stick. Shimmer Brick. Um, this Copper Striking Copper Maybelline Eyeliner. I just have it in my lower waterline. And then um, I have this Sweet Tarte lip butter from Revlon so it's not exactly a balm but it may as well be it's just a very very like barely there kind of I wouldn't even I don't even feel like it's a lipstick so anyway doing one of my four must-haves face very very minimal and 
I really like minimal sometimes. Don't get me wrong, I love playing with makeup, but sometimes I really like to keep it low key. So I mentioned Bachelorette earlier. If you have not seen the finale, this is your official spoiler warning and I will put right here on the screen where you should skip to if you don't want to hear me talk about the Bachelorette finale. Because I like really don't like spoilers. I really, really don't like it and on what day was I watching the finale? I was watching it on Tuesday, on my birthday, yeah. I was watching the finale and I was trying to stay off the internet that day because I did not want it spoiled for me. And I went to go post some things on Instagram while I was watching and I saw that her picture came up and I was just like, oh, hurry and look away. And I was like, dang it. I didn't exactly see who it was, but I was pretty sure that I had an idea based on the height and I was like, Dang it, the internet always wrecks it for me. So I don't want to spoil it for you, so hopefully you've skipped ahead if you don't want to hear the spoilers. But anyway, Becca chose Garrett. Um, there were two guys in the end, a very tall gentleman named Blake that she met before her season even started. She met it, she met him, she met it. She met him at the finale of The Bachelor when she was named as The Bachelorette. She got to meet like five guys in advance. And then there was Garrett, who was this they're both very, very kind, sweet men. But then there was this other guy, Garrett, who she gave her first impression rose to, and he happens to be from Manteca, California, which is very near me. I live in Tracy, California. And we saw on the news, actually the day that he was doing his hometown date, and my girls and I that watched Bachelorette together, we were like, oh man, we missed it, we should have gone, and we could have actually seen Becca and Garrett or whatever. So we already knew he was gonna make it to the final four, so it kind of messed up our league, like, um, like who we were drafting, because we all knew he was gonna make it to the final four. Anyway, um, so, yes, she gave him the first impression rose, and the three previous bachelorettes met with Becca before she even started and said, just so you know, we all ended up picking the guy that we went with our first impression rose. So that also made me like highly pick him as my favorite to win. Um, but Blake was like also on everybody else's radar. So it was so crazy in the end. The season was for the most part really boring, you guys, for me. I just didn't feel like it was a very interesting season, but the finale was fantastic. So it's so they just take you on such a roller coaster, and this season especially, it seemed especially bad. So she had to break up with Blake, and he was blindsided, and then, so you're so sad for him, and then she goes to being so happy, and Garrett just seems like a genuinely really nice guy, not like Ari. His season was bleh. I actually didn't even really like a lot of the guys that Rachel had left over on her, like by her end of her season. But Becca, I was really excited for her and Garrett. So they seem really, really happy. And he's from Manteca, California. So that was extra fun. So anyway, uh, the Bachelor finale was great. If you watch Bachelor, sound down below. Did you enjoy it? Um, and who do you think is going to be the new Bachelor? So we have one more polish to look at. And this is from Fair Maiden Polish. This is called the Puppet Master. And this was the June polish pickup, which is a gaming-inspired month. And this is basically a teal to purple, we've got some green and gold in there as well. Multi-chrome, but it's at, like super densely packed with micro hollow. Is it flakies or glitters? I thought it was glitters, but it might be flakies. And then it also has multi-chrome flakies that are um, green to orange to pink. So this is like really, really packed, you guys. Two to three coats on this one. Three coats if you wanna make sure you're really getting all that depth of color shifting. So. This is my A-plus polish this week. I really liked a lot of the other polishes I shared with you guys this week as well. Uh, but this one was my very favorite. So let's go ahead and swatch the Puppet Master.
right, two final orders of business. We need to pick some polishes for next week, and then we're going to pick a winner for my Swatch Fest giveaway. So let's commence. Okay, we get another KB Shimmer. So this is KB Shimmer Just a Phase, which is shifting from like a coppery pink to a green. So that looks gorgeous. Uh, maybe we'll put that in the pink spot. Oh, look at this. Okay, well this definitely has to go in the pink spot. Uh, this is Where Art My Love, and it's a bright pink with blue shimmer from Finger Paints. Oh, okay, you guys, we're gonna swatch our first Femme Fatale polish on here. Interestingly enough, this is very fitting actually. This polish is called Hellfire, and um, if you watched my World of Warcraft video, the Looking for Group Collection, you will know that I talked about meeting Tim in Hellfire Peninsula, and this polish was inspired by that exact location in the game, and so I, of course, had to get this polish at Polish Pickup. So Femme Fatale is an Aussie brand, and so it's not super easy for me to get my hands on these polishes, so I was another reason I was excited to pick it up. It is this orangey, coppery, base with this shifty green to like a pink pigment and then it also has flakies that look like purple blue to green so this is going to be cool. Okay so as you guys know if you've been here with me for a while every week I give away six polishes from my D stash. Speaking of D stash, no I haven't listed those polishes from my D stash videos yet. I told you guys I would definitely let you know either here, probably it would probably be all three but here on the Moonshine Mini Facebook group, on my Phoebe Moon Instagram. I'll announce it on all those places. So we're gonna be having two more D-Stash videos before that will go live, so you'll wait to see two more from me. And then I'll upload all of those things to my store me. So don't worry, all those things, you still have a chance to get them, okay? So um, anyway, I give away D-Stash polishes. So basically, like as I go through my reviews, or on Swatch Fest, if I swatch something that I'm like, oh, this is pretty, but I'm not like crazy about it, I'll stick it in my D-Stash and give it away here on Saturdays. So that is where these polishes are coming from. They've only been swatched once. Very gently used polishes and I send you six for free if you're my winner. All you have to do to enter is comment down below and you will be entered for next week. So this drawing is for all the comments from last Saturday. You need to make sure you're subscribed and then we will chat and I'll find out where to send your polishes. So using my random number generator, I have my winner here. And congratulations to Nicole Beck. Congrats, Nicole. Nicole says that she was so excited to hear that I like the Orly Fall Collection. She just received hers in the mail. I hope you're loving it, Nicole. And she asked if she could be entered into the giveaway. So just comment down below letting me know a little bit of something about what we talked about. Um, and you can let me know that you want to enter the giveaway. So, Nicole, you know what to do. Go send me an email. My email is in the description bar below, and we will chat about where I can send your polishes. So that's it for Swatch Fest, you guys. Thanks for being here today. It was just a fantastic week. Actually, I was so excited after my birthday and for the first day of school that I didn't sleep last night except for maybe like an hour. I couldn't even turn my brain off. And I'm surprised I have this much energy right now. It's probably because I'm so excited talking to you guys, but I maybe slept an hour. Fun, but crazy week, you guys. I love you so much. Thank you for being here. I really appreciate your love and support after all these years. Even if you're brand new to my channel, thank you for coming and spending this time with me. And I hope that you have a fantastic rest of your weekend. I will see you back again very soon for another review or d video or whatever else is coming up next. So. See you back then. Take care. Bye.